Okay, so um, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make the flashlight effect and also applies to like anything campfires, uh, headlights of a car, anything. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna create the shape you want it to portray. Uh, in my case, I have made a circle and I have made, made a, like a flashlight beam light. Now, in this case, as you, see, as you can see, uh, which I hope you can, apologies if the recording is a bit blurry. I have a ultra wide 1440p monitor and I'm trying to record this in 1080, 1080 by 1920 and it may just turn out This is actually my second time trying to record this just to make it a bit better. Anyway, so uh, as you can see, this part is kind of transparent. Uh, I was thinking that uh, doing this will allow me to have like the fade off effect. Yeah, that did not work um, with this method. You cannot do that as far as I'm aware. Uh, maybe you, you will find a way to do it, but um, if you look into more, if you look more into it, but uh, as of right now, I have no idea how to make it more transparent, if that makes any sense. Anyway, after you have your basic shapes, um, then what you want to do is um, oh, actually, before I do that, I can't remember if it's important to have them in white, but preferably just do them in white anyway. Anyways, after you have that, you want to make sure that the the field, the play, the playing field or the scene is covered in a black square. So every everywhere you want the flashlight to be, you want there to be a black square. Uh, what do I mean by this? Well, let me show you. If I go to my player, here's my player. I have attached a black square to him. We'll see what look what happens when I move this black square. Okay, you might it might not look like much, right? But if I zoom out, boom. Do you see this? Yeah. That's why you want to have a black square. In my case, I attach it to the player. So if I press play, uh the square. Okay, you can't see it now, but um yeah, so you can't see it because of the. You can't see it because of the animation. But anyway, the square moves with the player. So if, if I do this, uh, let's say the player wants to go there. See, the square moves with him. So I attach it to the player. But alternatively, you could have it on the top of your scene that it covers the whole scene. Now, with the black square, you want to make sure. Firstly, it's black or whatever color you want there. You want there to be. If you wanted to make nighttime, you can have it black, and what you can have it have it as uh, is like kind of like a little bit transparent, so it kind of seems darker in a way. And uh, what I have it in mind is it slowly goes up in an animator, uh, so it appears like it's getting darker. Um, so the other thing, important thing you want to make sure with the black square is you want to have it set as the highest layer in the order in layer. Uh, you want to have it uh, render at the end, so at last. You want it to render last because everything that's rendered last is render rendered in front of other things. Uh, so you want to make sure this is on top. So give it a good high number. And a very important thing here is you want to have the masks interaction on visible outside mask. This is important because if you have none, none of these will appear. And if you have visible inside mask, all of these will be black. Now, maybe that's something you're going for. But in my case, I want it to be a flashlight. So I I go for visible outside of mask. Now, we need to create the mask. Well, you want to do it. You're going to create the mask first. So if you want to go, this is my mask. And I named it flashlight. So what you want to do is, well, I'm pretty sure if you do, yeah, if, if you do sprite mask, if you go into, if you um, right click to the objects and go to sprite masks, a sprite mask should appear. Now I already have one called flashlight because I renamed it. And in the sprite mask, you want to go into this menu and you can go here and search for your flashlight or whatever you want, you want to add. Or alternatively, you can drag and drop. Now here is where you choose the shape, the sprite you want to give it to the mask. And this slider here, the alpha cutoff point, is basically how big you, how much of that mask you want to be showing. 
So the higher you go, the less you see, as you can see in the window there, and the lower you go, the more you see. Now, in my case, I found that the nice sweet spot is uh, 0 0.2. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the custom range does. I haven't messed with that too much, but if that's something you're interested in, then you might want to look into it. Um, and yeah, I also have an animating window, so um, so the flash appears in. Uh, you should see on the screen what I mean by that. And yeah, that's pretty much all you want to do. Uh, the same goes for the campfire I made. It's literally just a sprite mask, and it's yeah, it's a sprite mask, and it's on top of the campfire. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much how you make it. If you have any other questions, feel free to uh, ask me. Here's my email. Email me away. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is it. Uh, yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. <laughs>